Hi, I'm Tim Jardine from the School of Environment and Sustainability and the Global Institute for Water Security at the University of Saskatchewan. We're here today along the banks of the Saskatchewan River at E.B. Campbell Dam. This site has been here since 1963 and over the past 50 years or so there has been occasional research done largely by uh, government agencies. The University of Saskatchewan started work here in 2012 we're trying to understand the biological response to flooding. We're working with the local power utilities and using this site behind me as an experimental wetland. The ultimate goal of this research is better water management as well as some better communication between the utility and the communities that are affected downstream. By using the operation of the dam and flooding certain areas, we can better hone in on what kind of responses we might expect uh, in the biology in terms of production of food at the base of the food web, the condition and energy um, availability for fishes, and then some of the other broader ecosystem components that, um, that are a part of that system. Understanding how quickly the biology responds to these floods will allow us to help water resource managers and understand how their operations might be used to possibly benefit ecosystems downstream. One of the things we measure is the production and consumption of oxygen as the river breathes and the wetland breathes. And to do that we use instruments uh, such as this that are put out into the river to measure the change in oxygen and a variety of other uh, water quality measures over time. And in order to um, get proper data from those instruments, we need additional information that we get from things like this weather station, which provides us with information on atmospheric pressure uh, as well as light availability uh, for the ecosystem. We work closely with uh, the power company, and so it's an opportunity for students to um, do research that's relevant to the operation of the hydro dams, and it's also relevant to the communities that live downstream. I actually live just 50 kilometers down the river um, at Big Eddy Camp. I hope this research just leads to a more clear picture of what's going on in the Delta and I hope it leads to more communication between the community and the scientists and also the dam now that they know how much the water levels affect what's going on downstream maybe they can control it better and have more consistency so that the environment isn't as impacted as much. My research is focusing only on the benthic macroinvertebrate community, so the insects and all the other things living on the bottom of the river above and below the Tobin Lake Reservoir. Rivers are incredibly complex, especially the Saskatchewan River system, but if we keep up the research and we keep our minds open, I think we should have a good future in terms of water security. My research looks at fish energetics, so um, basically the impact of environmental stressors um, above and below areas of human influence and how that might affect their success uh, as they grow and, and breed and, and spawn. This one is um, a good location because the dam's just up around the, uh, up around the corner there. And um, when they alter their flow regimes even throughout the day, the impact that it can have on the landscape is, um, is really significant. Um, whenever they've got lower flow rates going, you can have boulders and sandbars spanning the entire way across. Uh, you can almost make it across this entire spot on foot. And then within the same day, you can have a nice wide, deep, flowing river, so it's a pretty significant uh, extreme area of impact, um, just depending on what they're doing right around the corner. So this research ties in in a few ways to different research themes. One of the themes is socio-hydrology, and part of that is, is our work with the community downstream. So we're trying to understand their perspectives um, on water and how much water should be uh, released from the dam at certain times of the year. Uh, another thing we're exploring with our research here is um, what effects future increases in irrigation may have um, on this river system and the amount of water that's, that's moving down the system and supporting some of the ecosystem services uh, in this area. So land management becomes very important as well in terms of our broader understanding of the river basin as a whole.